Jason, you and Jalen have been working on your connection offensively throughout this year, but um, in crunch time, it feels like sometimes Jalen gets lost in the shuffle a little bit. He starts games hot, finishes them, kind of getting lost a little bit there. Just you as the playmaker, what kind of things are you looking to get him involved, especially late in games? Yeah, um, that's just something that we got to be better as a, as a team, you know, um, knowing who's on the floor, you know, what we try to take advantage of and, you know, how to put guys in the best position, you know, for them, them to be the best version of themselves. Uh, and then that's something that we just continually talk about, you know, from game to game after we watch film. Gary? Jason, you know, the narrative shift after every game, and now it's the uh, you guys blew it. Golden State's going to close it out. They got championship medal. How do you kind of understand, obviously, that it's 2-2 and you guys still have a chance? But also, kind of take seriously that you, the, the stretches in the fourth quarter and the, the games that you guys have messed off that really can't happen anymore. Yeah, uh, you know it was a, a tough loss, um, and we understand that. And I think, um, you know, we've been here before. Right? It's the third time in a row. I feel like we we've been here, um, so we know what it takes. We know what we have to do, and uh, the attention to detail and things like that. Um, and I'm confident, I've, like I've been all playoffs, confident in the fact that we'll respond um, and, and play better, you know, for majority of the game, you know, tomorrow. Uh, Jason, Cam in Minnesota, Jose Mercury News. Like you said, you've been here in this building before. How would you describe just the atmosphere of playing here and how might that impact um, game five? Um, I mean, they got a great crowd. Um, Great fan base. Obviously, they've been in this position many a times in, in the championship, in the finals, as of in the last six, seven years. Um, but you know, it's basketball, and uh, I feel like you know, for whatever reason, we've played you know somewhat better on the road this playoffs than we have at home. Davide towards the middle. Hi, Jason. Davide Kinedato with the Gazette in Italy. As you said, you guys have been able to respond to a loss with a win in this playoffs. How much is this mental and how much are adjustments to the opponent you, you guys are facing? Um, yeah, it's very mental. Um, and I think just, like I said earlier, just the attention to detail, um, you know, and, and making the adjustments in game, you know, and just having awareness um, and not let things snowball and not necessarily let it, you know, make the adjustments for next game, you know, after we lose, you know, if we can be better at, you know, uh, making adjustments and figuring things out in from quarter to quarter um, and things like that. Um, but it's a big, it's a big test for us tomorrow, you know, it's like a new series, best of three, you know, excited for the challenge. Ron, over here. Jason, Ron Krejcik from the San Francisco Chronicle. Um, what have you learned playing against Curry these last four games? I mean, you only face him twice a year. You obviously, know, everybody knows his shooting range, but what may, maybe nuances have you learned in the challenge to stop him, and what more can you guys do tomorrow night? Um, I mean, everybody knows he's a great player, right? One of the greatest, and, um, you know, he's doing what he has to do to, um, you know, put his team in the best position to win. Um, you know, it's no secret. Um, you know, I knew he was a great player before the series, and after game four, I knew he was a great player as well. Melissa. Melissa Roland, Fox Sports. Obviously, your first time in the NBA Finals. I'm curious, as this series has gone on, what's the biggest thing that you've learned about yourself and, and also about your team? Um... Uh, I mean, I honestly, I don't know if I've learned anything differently. Um, you know, obviously, I know it's the finals, and we know it's his state. But I think, you know, being in it is hard to kind of process, you know, as, you know, it's different than if I was watching it on TV um, and all the coverage and things like that. But from my point of view, you know, we got a game tomorrow, and we got practice today, and we got shoot around in the morning. And, um to get ready for another game. Uh, so it's just trying to stay present and in the moment uh, and not, 
you know, get worried or consumed, I guess, with, you know, everything around surrounding the finals and just trying to, you know, win the next game. Where do you left? Go ahead. Hello, Jason. I'm Deniz Aksoy from Esport TV Turkey. I would like to ask you, until now, until the game five, what, what is the most remarkable moment that you will not forget when you look back? In the finals? Um... I would just probably say the first media day, the first game, um, you know, just the first of everything, I guess, because uh, it's my first time in the finals. So uh, I don't think I'll ever, you know, forget any of the, these moments, um, especially the first time that we came to practice and had open practice and things like that. Jay, back right. You haven't been shy throughout your career of, you know, sh sharing your, your ambitions of being one of the greats. Now in your first final, how, how much pressure do you put on yourself to kind of live up to that? Um, I guess the same amount of pressure I've always had. Um, you know, it's not something that I like, you know, go to sleep thinking about, wake up. You know, obviously, you know, I want to win by any means necessary and not do whatever it takes. Um, and that's, you know, that's all that's really... I care about right now is winning, you know, whether we, you know, you win or you, you don't win, you know, you guys will debate rankings or, you know, what does that matter, you know, for your legacy and things like that. Um, that's kind of not up to me, but, you know, in this moment, you know, just, I've said it, I feel like every day I'm just trying to do what I can, uh, you know, to impact winning uh, by, by all costs. Last two, Brandon and then Gary. Jason, Brandon Scoopy Robinson, Valley Sports. I talked to your dad this morning, and he talked about how he's kind of taking a hands-off approach uh, and just critiquing your game during the finals. And I'm curious to know from your perspective, how encouraging overall has your family and your inner circle been during the finals, win or lose? Uh, you, know, I, you know, they've been very supportive, you know, throughout my career um and you know i know they're proud of me regardless you know and, and that's how it should be as family um you know i don't think this is any different obviously they're extremely happy for the position i'm in and my team um but you know they've always been super supportive and um you know that hasn't changed now gary Jason, uh, you may say you were kind of maybe in game four, kind of searching for fouls and not not getting them, and that maybe would have been your lack of success at the rim. One, how do you get yourself going? You said you need to be better. How specifically do you need to be better? And how do you, like I previously said, not put too much pressure on yourself because this could be a legacy-defining game for you? Um, I think one thing I've noticed is, like, you know, playing off two feet a lot more um, and, you know, like, you know, coach said, playing off one feet and, you know, trying to look for fouls, um, you know, isn't as if it is working in my favor as much. So, you know, I think playing off two feet, um, attacking angles instead of, you know, trying to initiate the contact and things like that. Um, and it's just, you know, it's a game tomorrow. Looking forward to it. Uh, you know, it's 2-2, two -two, so not necessarily thinking about what it means for my career, you know, but just what it means for our team and, you know, what we're trying to accomplish right now. Thanks, Jason. This is it for today.